Sorry. Mm. <laughs> whether or not I've taken an 8 inch dick or 3 inch dick, it doesn't change who I am as a person. So I don't mm. understand why you even ask. Mm. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Just Saying. Today, we got my best friend, my favorite, favorite host. Uh, you forgot my name? No, no. <laughs> I want to say Muna. Muna will be very angry if I say this. Actually, sure. in front of her, I will say Muna is my favorite host. Are you fucking Co-host. serious? In front of her, yeah, but good. behind now, back step. But then behind my back. No, I never say. You are saying Muna is your favorite host. No, my back. I do this and tell her. But who is <laughs> okay? <laughs> no, we got Jay back in the studio, and today we also have Shanice Yay. and a very special guest with us. Hello, that's me. Yes. Madame the special guest, yeah. Yes, correct. Thank His you. name is Jackie and he does stand-up comedy. That's right, that's what Tell I do. Tell us a joke. Oh, now, yeah. right now, <laughs> that's a big, that's a big ass. Uh, no, gotta... I know, I know, Um, apparently, like, comedians hate when people say, hey, yeah. tell us a joke. Yeah, of course, <laughs> uh, like, you're a host. Uh-huh. How do you feel if I go up to you on the street and be like, hey, host a show for me now? <laughs> no, honestly, <laughs> right? I'd be like, yeah, like, give me the mic. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Like, I'm not even a comedian. I'll tell you guys a joke. Oh, yeah, please. Oh, please. Okay, ready? Yeah. Uh, Why do palm trees always get struck by lightning? Oh, I know. That's no. a riddle. Oh, don't. Okay. Why do palm trees always get struck by lightning? Because they're tall. Ah. No, I mean, yeah. Because but... yeah. they sway. Huh? Yeah. They sway in the wind, you fucking. Oh, so it's a Singaporean bit. Oh, it's a Singaporean bit. S L E Y. Okay, what's the topic today? Okay. Now she's embarrassed. Okay, uh, today's topic is lying in relationships. Oh. So speaking of which, why uh-huh. do I always feel at mats? Why do oh, you always then, feel at mats? Huh? Yeah, another joke. Oh, oh, it's another joke. Why am I so bad at mats? Because you're because uh, it's it's girl mat it's a girl mats joke. <laughs> it's it, that's not right. <laughs> why am I so bad at mats? Uh, because you can't count. Because guys keep telling me. That this is six inches. Oh, oh. fair. Ah. Lying in uh, it's, a, long, it's a tough crowd. How long is that? How long was that you were showing? Okay, I actually have a way of measuring. Okay. okay. Uh, but we, you know how the, okay, so I was reading this book on ancient Egypt. Wait, okay. <laughs> <And laughs> okay, this book, yeah. Go back, he yeah. asked, okay, yeah. he asked, yeah. ancient, ancient Egypt. Asked. Okay, okay, okay. So you are, are, do and you they, measure they, dicks the same way they measure cubes for the pyramids? <laughs> <laughs> Is that the same accuracy that you have. So, actually, they measured it like that, like with their hand. With pump. So, uh-huh. so you measure it like this. So, this is like, so you can just like discreetly be like, Mm, wow, it's oh. so big without looking. Then right. you can be like, it's, it's four hands. <laughs> so when you describe it to your friends, they you can be like, it's four hands. Like, no, but how you know by looking? They're not looking. I'm oh. touching it. How can it be four hands though? It's very big if it's four hands. It's a black yeah. What is this? No. <laughs> what is this? Co- okay, never mind. Hey, okay, you know what? Okay, but okay. Today's topic is lying in relationships, and I kind of break it down into a few, a few uh segments. Okay, okay. okay. The first one uh is on dates. Mm. On right. dates. Okay. Um. What do men lie most about on dates? Height. Be- height? Before the date, is it? No, on the date. On the date? Yeah. Height. Then they can't lie about height. What? They will still lie. They're lying. During the date. Don't they lie? Don't they, get, they lie about their height all it the time? It depends uh, if you can measure like that. <laughs> <laughs> Egyptian <laughs> method. <His> height is <laughs> Egyptian. 27 yeah. hands. <laughs> and the dinner table, you like... <laughs> About 60 hands. Yeah, right? like, I don't care. <laughs> no, okay. like, no, you are not 5 foot 11. I, I, okay, like if they are 5 foot 11, they'll Why say like going I'm 6 in, foot. in foot? I don't know. I don't understand. What's 5 foot? Like if they are not, like if they are like 179, they will uh-huh. lie and be like, oh, I'm 181. Yeah. But I think females mm-hmm. do that too. You like for me, height? because I'm 164, but when uh. I go on dates, I'm like, oh, I'm 165, 166. <laughs> That's a very weird lie. Okay. Uh, yeah. That's a very okay, weird okay. lie. Let's put some context to Interesting this. Interesting lies. For women, okay, do you, do you agree with me in this? Like, sure, yeah. If let's say I go on a date and I'm one, okay, I'm 176, I, I don't lie about it, I'm really 176. Mm. And if the girl says like, oh, I'm 168, well, I'll be like, e. Oh, you don't want shorter girls? Like, I feel like, Okay, it's not an insecurity, but I feel like most <laughs> men yeah. want their woman to be shorter okay. than them. Yeah. Is that true? My girlfriend is like my height, even slightly taller, I think. 
Because yeah. he's not insecure. No, but I don't. <laughs> right. I just, no, like, I just never. Eight is, okay, because uh, like my brain broke, right? Uh. As I said, I'm bad at math, but like, isn't one six eight still shorter than one seven yeah. six? I know, but I feel like one six eight is very tall for a girl. Okay, so right. what is your preference? I say like one six ah, uh, one six ah, uh, one five, one six ah. Uh. Right. Five is short. One six ah, uh. one five is yeah. A primary like school kid. Chest. When you lower that to that age range, I mean uh, that high range, you also lower the age range by a lot. <laughs> and it's really quite a dangerous gla- game to so. play, uh, You know what I mean? Hey guys, sorry to stop you right there, but who wants to retire early? Now, saving up for retirement can be tricky, but if you want to take care of your future self, I'm here to introduce to you a platform called Okta FX Trading App. What's so good about trading is that you do not have to wait for the profit because trading is all about short-term and active investments. OctaFX Trading App is a global forex broker that allows people to access financial markets and invest in it. Okta FX has 12 years of experience on the market and has won lots of awards, including the most secure trading platform in Singapore for 2023. One of the reasons why is because it allows you to trade on 230 trading instruments on the financial markets. Okta FX also offers secure and fast deposits and withdrawals via your preferred payment methods. The deposits via Visa takes only one minute and if it takes any longer, feel free to message the 24-7 Okta FX customer support and they will give you a very, very, very nice bonus. Now, Okta FX charges no commissions on deposits and withdrawals and provides transparent trading conditions. You can trade currencies, stocks, crypto, and so on and trading crypto is also available during the weekends. Okta FX trading app is available on web, Android and iOS so you can trade from any device everywhere. If you guys have no idea on how to trade, do not worry. Okta FX also provide free educational materials, courses on the basic aspects of trading, regular webinars and live trading sessions for beginners and pros. And with my special promo code, you can enjoy a 100% deposit bonus. This means that the amount you deposit will be multiplied by two. For example, if you deposit $500, you will get to trade with $1,000. If you guys want to retire in style, download the OctaFX trading app today via the link in the description box below. Register for free and start your trading journey. Now back to the episode. No, okay. Yeah. Have you have men lie about their their height? height. Not really height. No, okay. I wouldn't say height. Okay, then what do men lie about most to you? I would say I feel it's body count. Uh, really, because okay, there's this thing I feel where there's this stigma that if men have like lower body count or like a really low body count, uh-huh. they are like deemed like. And ex- inexperienced and not okay. so good in like sexual stuff. Okay. Well, I think sometimes I've dated like virgins before, which sort of disguise themselves as like, disguise. oh, I've I've had like three, uh, I've slept with three people before and all that. But then the moment you jump onto bed with them, you're like, where are the three? <laughs> 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 oh, it's understandable. Me? I think I think what maybe it's like three lousy. You no, know, like she, he had three bad sex before you, uh, right? Or he had three prostitutes before you. Uh. Uh. Could I mean, be a, yeah. That I wouldn't know lah. Yeah. Maybe it, what possible means is like maybe they come really fast. Like that's a. <laughs> oh okay. Some, also, yeah, but like no, also, no, no, no yeah. hate to virgins. It's fine to be a virgin. You should be a virgin. So what? So young. would you rather people men lie about their body count or be real? Just be real lah. Yeah. So that if they tell you ah fuck I I slept with like I don't know a high number of woman what's a high number of woman. I depending on your age, maybe if you're like my age, twenty three this year, uh-huh. dumb you slept more with more than twenty five people. I think that's kind of high. That's, that's a, a lot fucking of people. That's that is a lot. Okay, okay, wait, wait. That's a lot. Twenty five people. That's crazy. Back up, back up. Okay. <laughs> yeah, twenty five at twenty three. Yeah. Maybe at fifty, it'd be like what sixty people already. <laughs> yeah. Wow. True, true. Maybe he finds the one at twenty five. No, but it, it's twenty five. No, sorry, 25 at 23. Yeah. If he loses his virginity at 18, uh, let's say, like, average Maybe age. Maybe earlier. Uh, I think guys okay, lose like earlier. Okay, like 15, 16. Yeah. Uh, okay. That's fucking a lot. A lot, uh. a lot. Is it? Yeah. That's a lot. a lot. That's a lot of people. Is it, is it? Means he <laughs> slept with, like, at least half the school. I'm trying to think of like the general population. How, how big was your school? It was a 50 people <laughs> school. school. Wow. <laughs> after he go to uni and then he, he, go to, he go to camp and sleep with so many women. No lah, that's yeah. true. Okay, I wouldn't say 25 lah. Okay. But for me personally, if uh-huh. I was today a guy, if it was more than 10, I would be... Not even, not even more than 10, more than 7, it would be a bit like... Hmm. Okay. 
I'm not gonna slut shame yeah. these yeah. men. Like, yeah. you want to be a slut? Like, you know, you know slut. what? I'm old. It's I'm fine. old, like, Jay. I'm old. Mm. So, like, I'm 31. Yeah. If more yeah. than 10. Yeah. Okay. And you know what? Age really plays a part. If at 31, I feel like then you say, oh, I slept with like five women. Mm. Uh, Some girls huh? will be like, the fuck? There's something wrong with you. Yeah. Right. True? True. I think so. But if I am 31 and I slept with a lot of girls, what does that say? How how much is a lot? <laughs> like, uh, let's say, uh, example number like 30. Okay. That's oh, okay. Wow. I think that's okay. Considering like that's maybe one you every have a breakup. That's one every year. Yeah. But it's also, 30 in general for a human being, at least from my point of view, mm. is quite a lot. Yeah, it is a lot. Right. Yeah. Like it also because, depends on how you look, lah, right? Yeah, it depends on like when you <laughs> when you settle down in that relationship, yeah. lah, right? Like if you have a partner by I don't know, 27, 28, and you slept with seven person by that time, then mm. that's the end of that count, lah, right? Correct. Like for the yeah. foreseeable future. Yeah. Yeah, I I've never even asked that question. So I'm very, I'm very like, wow, you guys ask. <laughs> I, I don't even know anybody. <laughs> no, but I feel like okay, yeah, men will only lie about their body count if they uh they slept with very little girls. Inexperienced, right. like, yeah, yeah. inexperienced. But women oh, okay. <laughs> will lie about their body count. Mm. Why, Jade? I, I've never been asked. And I, I You never been asked? I've never been asked. So first word. Can you imagine <laughs> if a man asked me for my body count? I would just so, walk the fuck out. Why? Yeah? He, he tries so on hard to go. Date, like, on yeah, you try so hard to go on a date with me. Uh-huh. I've like ghosted you like three points. You've been like, hey, what about our date at that point? And then you finally bring me on the date and you're like, how many people have you slept with? I mean like, go, go, go the fuck off. But isn't That's that an acceptable question if it's been like a few dates in? Mm. If let's say Getting you really serious, like him, you know? like why does it matter? I'll be like, why? Why does it matter? Like I would have walked out. I would walk out. Right. Like so you, you try so hard to come on this stupid date, <laughs> and I've 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 come on this stupid date with you. I'm like, sitting across the table. And you're like, how many people? How many cocks have you had in your? Okay. Day? What if he phrases <laughs> it differently? What if he yeah. phrases it differently? He says, how many cocks s- have you devoured? <laughs> 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 the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. I've, honestly, I've never. I so don't you would not tell them no matter under what no, circumstances. No, I've never. I just never been asked. Okay. Never okay. Been so asked. what if he says I, the only weirdos who ask me are people online? Like they'll mm. be like, "What's your body count?" I always say like six. I've killed six people. <laughs> 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 what if he say, "Do you sleep around a lot?" In your past, do you sleep around a lot? Okay. Um, I always tell them the same thing, which mm-hmm. is yes, which is actually a lie, but I just want to. Just be like, yeah, I sleep around all the time. So, yeah, because it's such a fucking ridiculous question. So why such would a, you lie? Because you should know what kind of person I am already. But based on the fact that we're on this third date and I haven't slept with you yet. You're just trying to measure. Oh, you're, yeah, yeah, we're on the third date and I haven't slept with you. Uh, and then you're like, wait, but I thought you're all sexy and stuff. So like when, like, I is there, am I going to have the chance to see you? That's all they, they want to know. How yeah. often do boys say that to you? I thought you're all sexy and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> no, I mean, I, that's what I think. I right, think they're thinking, yeah, right. they're going through their heads. They're like, she still hasn't slept with me. Mm-hmm. Is she like the kind of girl that I should continue investing time and effort into this, thinking right. I'm going to get sex at the end of it. Right. Mm. Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. So, then that's when, like, I'm not going to talk to you anymore. Mm. Because you're just trying to gauge your likelihood of getting to sit with me. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, on that topic, apparently, mm. so I googled it. Right. Um, <laughs> most men lie about their intentions on the first date. Right. Mm. Which I think is fair. It's fair, it's fair game, right? Mm. Like, if... Okay, to be honest, if I go on the first date and a girl straight away asks me, do you want to sleep with me? Mm. My straight answer is no, eh. Even though I fucking want to. Yeah, because there is still that, some guard. apprehension, la, right? Like, yeah. there, 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 there should be some more steps. We cannot jump those steps, la, right? Gotta the make steps. sure everything <laughs> yeah. is safe, la. So yeah, what yeah, yeah. The, what are the steps? Uh, have you seen a doctor recently? <laughs> like, you know, it's, <laughs> like is, is all your family members still around? Is someone, like, what, like, why do you want to sleep with wait, me right what, now? What do you mean, urgent? all your family members? Like, wait, like, like are you going, going through something? something yeah. That's why you are oh, trying to get. Okay, a, okay. You know. Like, oh, you got no father, so that's yeah, 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 no, some. Okay. Oh no, but it it uh, surprises me a lot where a lot of my friends go on first Tinder dates and just sleep with them. Mm. So I'm like, how the fuck does this work? Do you guys say beforehand that oh, it's just uh like common respect to have dinner first and then we're gonna sleep with each other later, mm. or when you go on the date and the girl asks you, the girl asks, what? Well, I would definitely, hey, no lah, I just want to get to know you better, man. <laughs> yeah, the option what hookups only, short term dating. Oh, you just put hookups only and then like I mean like. Well, like Tinder, that. right? Like, they awesome. have the option for you to oh. make it easier to get what you want. So, I think yeah. that's the whole point of it. I, like, that was not there when I was on Tinder. Maybe you should try yeah. download it. <laughs> download, download it again. Yeah. No, do women lie about the intentions on the first date? Um, you were never asked before, so. No, I don't know. I don't know. I don't 
Yeah, no, I, 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 I don't know. You have to ask somebody else. Yeah. For me, like if I were to go on a first day, it means I actually want to develop something a bit more serious. Ooh. And it's not like I meet you after one day of chatting. I meet you after maybe one week. Get uh, to know how you are first. And then me up, eh? finally meet you in person. And then if I don't like you, then it's okay lah. But, you know, I don't really have any like intentions before that other than getting to know you. Mm. I think that's, that's why sounds, I blanked. I sound so silly. No, but that's why I blanked because I'm like, what was my intention? My intention was that I was free. Mm. So, so I came out. The intention there, there's no free. intention. That's why I don't lie about my intention. I'm mm. free. Are you free? I'm free. Well, let's go. I have no intention. Right. What's Maybe. my intention when I meet you for dinner? Nothing. The intention is to what? I, the <laughs> intention is to just go on that date, lah, right? Like, like that. Yeah. Is, like, like when got, you show up for a date, you. The, the intention is to to do the date, uh-huh. right? I, I suppose <laughs> like intention. boys at the end of the day, whatever the the situation is, is still thinking about sex as the bottom line. So they are, they're still hoping that they will get some sex out of it. <laughs> So girls but, go on a date thinking just about sex. Isn't no, it? no, oh, it's not, it's not, yeah, even if boys are not going on dates, they're thinking about sex all the time. Yeah, right? I know that's yeah. true. I feel like all men are all men are perverts. It's just mm. how much of a pervert you are, right? Willing you to show. You will sleep with a girl if she wants to sleep with you. So you know that. No, I would, I would, I would, I would, I really would. But if it catches me off guard, like in my head, you want to do it first. I'm going into the date with a plan, right? Yeah. The plan is to be a gentleman. Yeah. So I ask her what she wants to eat and then she chooses the restaurant and I go to the restaurant and I'm like, yo, I'm paying for this dinner. You know what I'm saying? But if I'm paying, at like the back of my head, I'm like, mm-hmm. so this is a whole facade just to get her in bed. Lah. But it is a first day. It is. It's how it works. It's how it works. It's right? like the, the game. Yeah, 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 it's like the, the unspoken rules of the game, lah, so, yeah. so to speak. Like Who asks for the date is who is the one paying. If the girl oh. asks for the date, then the girl should pay. Really? You. Yeah. Oh, okay. That, that, that is my, my take. Yeah, that's, that's my take on things. Lah. Okay. Yeah, so I'm like, okay, I'm paying for the bill and then, and then there's that awkward moment of like, after you pay for the bill and then you, you're still sitting at the dinner what table now? and like, okay, what, yeah. what, what, what are we doing? Go right? We're going to oh. yeah, I, I, I am not going to say, yo, want to come back to my place. No, I'm not going to say that. Yeah. But I also wish the girl would ask, like, hey. You, but no girl like, would ask what? No, the girl would, will, will, will phrase Sin. it differently. Yeah, we're like, uh, I have no plans after this. Mm. You, you want to chill? <laughs> Oh, tips. Tips. Yeah, you want to yeah. hook up with him? Okay. I yeah, so that if the girl say that, I'm like, ah, uh, okay. You can I tell you guys about the weirdest lie ever, okay. I ever got told? What? Um, So guys, to me, they don't lie about their intentions because I know their intention, right? Mm. But what they always lie about is like their status. Because they assume that I, I like a guy with high status. So they lie about money and they lie about status. So the weirdest lie I ever got told was I said that I like Tiger, T-Y-G-A, Tiger. <laughs> and this guy said that that's his cousin. <laughs> what? Is the guy black or what? Uh, he's like he's from Dubai. Uh, okay. But yeah, he's so not related you. to Tiger. Right. Why okay. would you like, This is such a huge lie. It is a huge yeah. lie. But no, but then again you can't find out. What if you I didn't because yeah. Tiger oh came God. to Singapore. And then you asked him, yo. Is this your cousin? Not your cousin, ah, bro. Yeah. He so would what's think, your, what's your cousin doing bitch? in Dubai? Yeah. <laughs> so, and then I was like, hey, your cousin is coming. Like, this is years later, right? Like, two years uh-huh. later. I'm like, hey, your cousin's coming. And he was like, Tiger, that's not my cousin. And I was like, you can't even keep track of your lives, motherfucker. Oh, you asked him again. I asked him oh, again. I was like, such a Tiger's guy. here. Yeah, Tiger came for like, play Maki. I was oh like, your God. cousin is here. Like, he's like, <laughs> rock. Yeah, your cousin's here. And he's like, who's my cousin? I'm like, Tiger. I got to tell Oh I never told this story before One of the worst The longest lie That I've done uh, Wow this is so you? Fucking Long embarrassing yeah, Okay who's damn, your cousin death, No this is that embarrassing oh But it's God. similar It's similar It, 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 uh, it, <laughs> who's it has your to cousin? do with Who's the rapper Who's the rapper that you're... <laughs> <laughs> So Wow well, I cannot say <laughs> the name I gotta beat this up You want <laughs> Okay, oh, okay like, One year One la. year No 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 <laughs> One I think in 20 Wow I was so young uh, 28 years ago We flew down Yes I remember that Yeah so then I was his uh, artist liaison, mm. right? Mm, okay. So then I had his passport, I had his everything and I was with him all the way. So... <laughs> what did you do? So I went to a club, right? And then they didn't let me in. I'm like, yo, I'm manager. Then he was like, ah, fuck, I don't believe you. So I showed him everything. I <laughs> <The> passport. <laughs> <laughs> what are some things we find ourselves lying about the most? On dates? I, like, I think most of the time when you're dating someone, like, what do you want to eat? Is a, co- a common question you ask one another, uh. right? And you generally don't really care about where you're going to eat. Yeah, you just want to spend time with the girl, right? Yeah. Okay, now I'm with you on that, yeah? Right. Yeah. But So I will lie that I'm enjoying the food. Uh. I, I will lie that um, I, I don't care where we're eating because sometimes when you're eating, you're like, ah, this is, we could be eating something better. Was there a bad experience <laughs> on that? 
N- not really like, or, or sometimes like you like, oh yeah, let's show this whatever, and then you're like, oh let's eat pasta, but then like you're just not feeling pasta actually, but you just go with it like uh, you eat it lah. Yeah. I had a bad experience on that. Okay, and I told a girl about it actually. We went on the first date. Oh, I'm gonna shame this place. I'm gonna beep it out. And <laughs> do you, have you guys been there? Yeah, sort of it. Don't what right. the fuck? I will toast. And I don't eat vegetables. Right. Oh. What do you mean you don't? I, said, eat I don't. Bad. I don't always eat vegetables, <laughs> and it's a fucking. Then you're like, oh my god, yeah. they have vegetables. In my head, why cannot have chicken in the farm? Oh. <laughs> why cannot have pig in the farm? Pig also oh, live right. in the sty in the fucking farm. So in my head, I'm like yeah, okay. fucking Western food that is fresh, you know? Right. Yeah. So I went there. <laughs> you know, you know what's the worst part? They don't have fucking have chili sauce, and I had to sit there on the first day and pretend. I'm enjoying myself. Hey, Eating you fucking broccoli, bro. Broccoli is not bad, lah, right? Like they had some like no broccoli is not bad, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> but they had chicken that is made out of uh, uh tofu, uh. <laughs> right? Something right. like that. And I'm like, fuck, this is so ridiculous and it tasted like shit, right? So I raised up my hair, I'm like, hi, can I have chili sauce? And they were so offended, they were like, no, we don't do chili sauce. Whoa. Don't do But we do hot sauce. Oh, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but okay, never mind, we move on. <laughs> From this, we move on into a relationship, okay? Mm. I wrote down some common white lies people to- tell in a relationship. Number one, when you compliment them for their efforts even though you don't mean it. I do it. You're guilty? Guilty. Okay, I am I'm also guilty of it. Um, If, like, last time my ex-girlfriend will clean the house and be so proud of it. And I'll okay. be like, yeah, good job. But to me, that's fucking bare minimum, son. <laughs> right? Really? That's yeah. bare fucking minimum. It's like after, even when she washed the dishes, ah, I washed the dishes. That's good. I'm proud of you, but fucking bare minimum. Well, I, well, I think complimenting somebody's effort is like a good thing to do anytime, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. Like just I, I appreciate you doing whatever lah, <laughs> la, right? It doesn't have to be in a relationship. So um <laughs> So my my ex thought that he could sing really well. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what? That one hardcore! Oh this bad. <laughs> oh god. Hey. Yeah. He's so toned. <laughs> but I think he's so toned deaf that he doesn't know how bad he is. Right. But somehow no one has ever told him he's bad, so he really thinks he can sing. Then do you tell him you but you or you just tell him the job? Um no, it's like he came back to bite me in the ass. Because right. one day I came down from the foyer and there you was a, a piano. Song? <laughs> <laughs> you wrote a song? <laughs> this is in school. <laughs> and then he played the piano and sing. My heart's a stereo. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, wow. It's for you, so this okay. is close. No, right? <laughs> oh no! Wow. And everybody knew you are the girlfriend. Fuck and you! And I down the foyer. I'm big oh, but that's, oh, that's that, so uh, embarrassing. It's my yeah. gym class heroes, man. Yeah, <laughs> stereo, stereo, stereo. Yeah, <laughs> gym class heroes. Oh there. no, oh, it was so wow. bad. It was so bad. I was so embarrassed. I'm Actually, like, it comes back and bites you in the ass. You can, t- you know, sometimes you compliment someone's effort, and then like suddenly they're like, "Oh, I want to join Singapore Idol," and then like everyone knows it's your boyfriend. Then how, right? No, yeah, that. Yeah. Oh my god! You know you're... those people who sing on Instagram, and you're like, "Wow, has no one ever told you you're bad at this?" Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. one of those yeah, people yeah. who like encourage. <laughs> I'll be like, great. Yeah, I'm gonna keep going. <laughs> because I'm like, like, to me at least, it's like, if they keep going, they will get better, right? Sure? Mm. But I, I guess sometimes the compliments, <laughs> <Some don't. laughs> the compliments push them to think that they are better than they are in that yeah. point in time. And then they will do something crazy like that. But if he didn't, and he just kept singing at home, he would definitely get better. He's all, not right? better. He's not better today. <laughs> he's not. Okay. But it's very funny. No one has told him he's bad up to this point. Have you seen those like at auditions and they're like, my friends and family say I can sing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Of course. Uh, like, yeah. Thing, you know, me and you, we are the friends and family. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No, we it's like I, I say, my mother always say I'm handsome. <laughs> of course, right? your mother say you're handsome. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. But that makes sense because mothers genuinely think that their kids are good looking. Yeah. and But I genuinely n- think he's bad. And it's your fault. That you <laughs> it's your fault what the fuck? The next one. When you're discussing your past relationship and crushes. Mm. This is such bad advice for men. Mm. Okay. But Jackie, you can back me up on this. <laughs> sure. If your girlfriend asks you about your past, mm. it's always tell half truths. Just don't say it. Right. Yeah, you you wouldn't you wouldn't talk about like the the fond memories that you have with your ex, like even though it's an ex, I'm sure you still have like you know nice things that happen or fun things that you did together. Yeah. But when you're talking about it to your partner, you would just be like, ah, yeah, that bitch, this happened, <laughs> she did this. No, she okay, did that. Like, I wouldn't say what, I wouldn't say that bitch. Of course, but, of course. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. No, let's say I won't. If let's say I slept with someone, mm. I wouldn't lie about that. Okay. Right. I I would tell the truth and everything. 
But there are some things I will lie about. Okay. Like, um, I will... F- <laughs> this is setting, setting myself up for failure. <laughs> You know what, Jay? You go first. Did you lie about your past relationships, Jay? Uh, really? I, if, if I don't want to say something, I'll just say like, I don't want to I don't want to talk about it. No, then you will keep the, then the guy will even more want to know. No, I'll just say no. I, I'm not talking about it. I don't want to talk about it. Don't ask me. No, then you're hinting me that, okay. Oh, so- I'll tell you like, if you ask me about it, I'm just going to hurt your feelings. But to be honest, because it's me, it could go a whole bunch of ways. Like we could have gone on one date. Could have slept together. Mm. Could have moved in together. Mm. Could have had a kid. Like you know, it's it's like it's ambiguous. So I'll be like, don't ask me. You're just gonna hurt your own feelings. First and they foremost, first and foremost, I think asking someone about sorry, asking your partner about your the ex is it's just a you're that why you're setting yourself up for failure. Yeah, mm. because you know what like they spend so much time together. They 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 probably had experiences together and everything. For you to ask, why you want to know? Mm. Yeah. There is no benefit of knowing. Mm. Probably you want to know why they broke up, lah, right? Why y'all mm. broke up. And then, okay, that is beneficial to me because then I can keep look out for the red flags, mm-hmm. right? Right? If let's say, uh, like I always say, my ex-girlfriend is insecure. Mm. And when people ask me, that's the thing I always lie about. They say, why? And I say, I don't know. Okay. But I know, lah, why? <laughs> yeah. Right? Because... Firstly, are, all my girlfriends, no like, the people around me are all hot. Mm. And um, and I've slept around, mm. right? So I'm like, okay, this is the reason why you're insecure. But I always lie, I know, I don't know why. Right. But I never do anything. Mm. I go club with girl, but I never do anything. <laughs> you fucking <laughs> <right now>. so. <laughs> <laughs> like, if, let's say I'm in the club with Jake like that. What I do? Never do anything. Then she asks me, but what are your intentions? Mm. Nothing. Nothing, it's true. Yeah, nothing, nothing, nothing yeah. But you can imagine of the fuck her or not. <laughs> Oh my god, yeah, she's so fucking annoying, that one. Yeah, right. No, no, no but I mean, answer. Fair, we that, we that went true. to Italy together and we were sleeping on the same bed. Okay. Yeah. So so I kind of get it. Mm. But also so you were attached, is it? Oh. Attached. It wasn't even like attached. We were like, I wanted to break up Situation. very badly. Yeah. Right. yeah. But Situation then she just she... couldn't let go. Mm. And like And she would just rage him so fucking hard every single day. Yeah, it's like we are walking down the streets of Italy. And I'm yeah, I'm like, hey, shall we have some pasta? <laughs> and he's like, I anything like we go McDonald's get Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah it was just, yeah. First it was meal just... in Italy was McDonald's. Wrong and roll. That is true. Yeah. Because of her. I blame her completely. Yeah. Yeah. Have you lied about your past before? Mm, I wouldn't say I lied, but I wouldn't want to be completely honest if I'm still getting to know you. Maybe after we are already established in a relationship, then I'll mm. let you know some of the things I've done wrong in the past. But if I'm getting to know you, I don't think it's necessary to tell you like how many exes I have or why we broke up or whatever. Unless it was like a really important um, story for me. But overall, from my experience, I feel like just don't say lah. Just start a fresh chapter. Don't have to think so much about what the past. Why are you laughing? Just don't say lah. Just felt, <laughs> just felt like a funny la. thing to me. I, I agree. Yeah. 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 That's so true. Like, you yeah. stress no. yourself even more with all the information you have. That it's not even necessary to build the... No, don't say it's one thing. Yeah, mm. don't say. The other thing is don't ask. Don't, yeah. Yeah, just don't, don't ask. ask. <laughs> don't ask. Yeah. True, true. Don't set yourself out of failure. Don't... Yeah. Why Why you want information that will kill yourself? Yeah. So what you want... Okay, let's say as a, from a guy perspective and I ask my girlfriend, stupid questions. Who's better in bed? The hey, fuck oh. you want to know? Mm. Oh, that's bad. Yeah. yeah. I, I see where you're coming from, but I, I completely agree with that. I feel like a lot of people would be like, oh, you're telling half truth, uh, half truth is a lie. But no, I think it's right. Because I feel like people just, like guys, you can tell them all this information, mm. they're just going to use it to upset themselves. Mm. They don't, they're not asking because they truly want to understand you as a human because there's so many more relevant questions yeah. about your values and who you are. Like they can ask you about your thoughts on certain like, you know big touchstone things you know mm. why you know why your view on children marriage so many important questions but you just want to know what the biggest cock I ever <laughs> had is it makes no god yeah sense. why yeah. why it do doesn't you help want you to understand know? me like whether or not I've taken an 8 inch black dick sorry mm. <laughs> whether or not I've taken an 8 inch dick or a 3 inch dick it doesn't change who I am as a person so I don't mm. understand why you even ask mm. and the person I am is I like big dicks I do. <laughs> but I will say that because that's important for you to know. Yeah. You don't understand me as a person. So that if he doesn't have one, then he'll just be like, I'm not going to ask her on a second date. Right. <laughs> or get a deal though. Are you that kind that asks your boyfriend about past experiences? Mm. You look like that kind. Not really. Maybe the last relationship. Like how long was it and why did it end? 
But I won't ask like since you were from primary school, like oh what happened? Of course primary not lah. Oh, no, but why? But that's a good question to ask. Yeah. I think when you ask those questions, what she's like, what a lot of women are trying to get mm. is like, um, are you a long term relationship person? Are you dating a lot right now? Like what they are, you're trying to see where the person is in their dating life mm. and where you can fit in because a lot of girls want to get hurt. So you don't just want like, no, I haven't been in a relationship for like five years. And then we're like, okay, this could just be another date for you. But if they just got out, if they just got a relationship, you'll be like, okay, I'm afraid now I'm rebound for you. Yeah. Mm. So that's what we're trying to scope out. Mm. Right. Right. Like what's our position? And obviously we ask, you're going to lie about your intention, but it's a little bit harder to lie about coming out of a relationship because mm. there's like Instagram pictures, there's right. friends that we yeah. can ask, there's reference points. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What I want to ask also is Like do girls in relationships Ask about the ex Because you're competitive Like do you just try to find out In what ways they were lacking That you can be better Just to Because I've you heard com- Like female comedians Talk yeah. about that Like for like, oh, me yeah. if, if it was like A really long relationship Before me There is some sort of Like disadvantage I feel Like okay. if this person Is able to be in a relationship For you for like Four years for example My ex and my, re- my current boyfriend Then I'm like there must be something really good about her that mm. she's able to keep out with you all these years. And for me, my longest was two years. So it makes me feel like, oh, maybe w- what is it that I'm... No, I wouldn't say lacking, but what is it that, you know, maintain the relationship for so long since I'm not able to have one for so long. So I wouldn't say competitive, but you do feel a bit of like, why, right. you know, like I just don't want to be like that, you know. Mm. But of course, that's not a healthy way to approach it. Mm. But Let me give you guys a hard truth. Okay. All the girlfriends were the best for you. At that point of time. At that point in time, yeah. 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 Oh, like, I feel like it's a stupid question to ask. Who is a better girlfriend? At this point of time, you are the better girlfriend because I've grown up and I need different needs. Yeah. Right? So, and you serve that needs. At that point of time, when I was younger, I just wanted to fuck. And if this, my girlfriend has a high sex drive, best girlfriend in the fucking world because I get sex all the time when I ask. But that's not entirely true because you you have to understand that you have a lot of options. The fact that you are picking the girl and and the girls that you pick, you you really have like a whole bunch of girls to pick from. Mm -hmm. So a lot of girls don't want to be like, you have no options, therefore I am the one. Your Mm -hmm. ex-girlfriend didn't want you, therefore Mm -hmm. I am the one. Mm -hmm. You cannot really speak to this (laughs) because the fact that you pick the girl Mm -hmm. and, and I've seen the girls you pick, they're extremely good looking, intelligent, you. nice girls. Oh. Mm. But that's why you can be like, yeah, you are the best girlfriend for me now. Yeah. So I saw the girl that you recently did. She's wonderful. I love mm. her. But obviously, she's the best girlfriend for you. Mm. But, not, but not every girl, not every guy has that experience. So not every girl can be like, I'm True. the best. Because mm. some guys don't have a lot of options. Mm. Mm. Oh, so you don't want to be the last, op- the only option? The only option. Mm. <laughs> agree or what? Do you? I do agree. Yeah. So if, but it's a double edged sword. What? If let's say you are the only option, mm. isn't that great? Then oh, you know, great. Yeah, no, then the you one... know for a fact that the guy has no other options. So until, he's not cheating. Until he's a better not... option comes along. Like so, I was chosen because I was the last one there. You know, it's like grab food and then no, it's at the end of the night, like, there's, there's only me like options. Mr. Prata and I don't really like Mr. Prata. Whoa. Then I order Mr. Prata to my house but I'm like, oh my God, okay, okay, okay. Food at six, So I you'd rather be the best out of 10? Yeah. You're right. I want to be like the seafood What is the six best out of two? Doesn't matter. You maybe just... like out of 10 is a bit much. Maybe like best out of four. So if you had like four really great options and they're all interested in him and he was like, you. I'd be like, mm. Right. Oh. But when you say these 10, do you mean like he's getting to know all 10 at the same time or from past experiences? No. Like he's just going to compare all at once. Yeah. So what she's trying to say is if let's say you guys are already in a relationship, yeah. she wants to know that this guy had other options yeah. and she was the chosen one. Yeah. Yeah. And that gives her a sense of, I don't know what. Your IT? Yeah. Mm. Do you agree? I, I do agree. But so, I mean, still can maybe a bit, make me a bit feel destabilized like yeah, I would you, still compare you, la, to a certain extent like because you beat feel, the competition like you beat three other girls to be dating this yeah, man yeah. right but the competition still exists right yeah, it's not like correct. you win already then they go to the shadow realm or whatever like they, they are still around they're still friends or whatever yeah. like, oh no 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 yeah. they are not gonna be around <laughs> <laughs> like, let's not get you this. don't get to choose <laughs> of yeah. course I get to choose no but I, I'm just saying that I want a guy that I know can pull girls like he can pull other girls and other girls that are good looking. Right. Oh, and so I'm, like, a, like a trophy, yeah. Not just not just a trophy. It just I just don't want to date like a guy that has no bitches. I'm so sorry to say <laughs> this, but I don't want a guy with no, no bitches. I get it though. I get it. You though. get it, right? Yeah. 
It's like, like, like he can pull all these girls, but you are the one that he chose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm right. like the chosen one. Like how Actually, about you, I mean, as you grow older, yeah, the stable girls are the one you'll be probably most attracted to. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, because you're done. Your your time is done. Like I <laughs> I personally know. Like yeah, my time is like. Yes. You don't want the headache. Running out of time. Yeah, no, you like, don't want like, a headache. One, I'm running out of time. Number two, my time is done. I had my fun. Done lah. Like what else? One of my exes uh, wanted to try polyamory, and oh, I said, "Why didn't you bring this up earlier?" Okay. And, <laughs> and I said I was okay with it lah, but I like I had a lot of reservations. And then when it eventually happened, and when I found out she was sleeping somewhere else, like it really f- fucked me up ma. And maybe that's why I didn't bring it up earlier. How long do you how long do you pretend that you're okay with it? Like I think two, three months maybe. What yeah. is a fucking oh, long time, bro? It's quite long, but and it was during COVID also. Uh. Oh so shit! Even, uh, and then yeah. you got nothing to do. <laughs> Double strong. <laughs> yeah, stay at home, wait for the text, things like that. You know, it's yeah. Wow, that's very bad, bro. That was that was a that was a hard time in my life, yeah. So so have you like just try to say no more in your current relationship like yeah like, like now I try to boundaries. really like if I'm uncomfortable with things I'll be like yeah that's, that's not something yeah. I'm comfortable with mm, my girlfriend will be like oh I wanna go and do this photo shoot with a shibari expert this guy wants to tie me up and, and I'm like, like where do you oh. find all these kinky girls uh, the day like one after the other one is like Polly Amherst the next one is like shibari ex- <laughs> yeah well you could go we we went for a shibari workshop together. Oh, nice! Right, and then oh, sorry, I think the instructor wanted to wanted to to shoot her lah uh, for for a photo shoot, and I'm just like I'm not I don't really like the vibe of this guy, <laughs> right? Like I'm, I'm happy to explore whatever we want to explore together, but like I I just I don't really feel comfortable with this particular guy. So I told her like I'm and she's like yeah no problem, you know. That's great. Yeah, like she does other different things. Like she'll ask me first, and if I'm okay with it, I'll say yes. If I'm not, then no lah. I I feel like. We act- women like that a lot, mm. especially like hot women when men say no to us and draw <laughs> like clear men with clear boundaries. I mean, mm. it, it's very attractive. That's that's, that's why I'm no. slowly learning actually. Reasonable but cl- reasonable but clear boundaries. Not like you can't go clubbing, you can't go out oh, with your yeah, friends. Okay, okay. But like, hey, I want to be like naked in front of another guy and have him tie me up and then take pictures. And then you're like, no. It's like okay, that's hot. Thank you for drawing. A- like guys who just it's say yes. obvious no. What no, but fuck? guys who say yes to everything. <laughs> Are not mm. very attractive, and that's just the reality of things. Okay, yeah, mm. okay, but what that was a bad example because there's an obvious no, <laughs> right? So, even yeah, I mean, though I'm like in a poly, yeah, that's why I say it's a reasonable boundary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, yeah. then it's actually it makes it makes you more sexy as a guy when you say no to these things. <laughs> what's I not? The question. Why is a not okay? So for example, in that example, if I say no, then to you it's sexy. What yes. are some examples that if I say no, then it's not sexy? I want to go out with my girlfriends to celebrate a birthday. That one too much. <laughs> no, it's actually, you know You're what? So disappointed. We say that it's too much, but then we've been like watching like all these podcasts on YouTube yeah. and guys are like, I will not yeah. allow, like Fresh and Fit is a huge podcast and they're like, girls, like I will not allow my girlfriend to go out clubbing mm. to the club. Why? Uh? I don't know. I, I guess I don't know what the situation is like in Miami. I don't know what the safety is like in Miami. But if a guy said that to me in Singapore, I'd be like, fuck off. Yeah, I'll say, I'll say fuck yeah, off. Yeah, like if you're concerned about my safety, then you can just pay for security, what? Hmm. <laughs> well, why is that? Like, why is that funny? Point. Like, no, I'm serious. Pay that's for my security. A, that's a huge privilege. Hmm. Yeah, but I'm saying that's why I, I for me, me, hmm. I would not be okay with that, no. If I were to protect the guy a bit, right? <laughs> if let's say um, I'm together with you, and I know the kind of your principles and everything. But the people, your girlfriends around you, mm. ah, ah, the, yeah, one night stand. Mm. And I experienced this. Last time I was that guy. Mm. You are. I was I was you that are. guy. You are and the, yeah, you're the people's influence. wives. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. My friend's wife, don't let, don't let, no. You're going mm. clubbing. Do you? No. Right. So I'm like, okay, I get it. So we come to the end of this episode. I hope you guys liked it. Thank you, Shanice. Thank you, Jackie, Thank for you. joining for us. If you have anything you'd like us to talk about, let us know in the comment section below. If not, we'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.